Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dominion Park Sandbox Edition. Now, I actually have something really exciting to um, do in this episode. The new DLC just dropped today and I thought it would be a really good idea to actually put the new three new dinosaurs or four new dinosaurs in this section just here so that's what we are going to be doing right now so what we're going to do is build a huge Asset delivery confirmed. area What we'll do is divide this up. Whoops, and what we will do confirming asset delivery. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. So what I'm going to do with this one is just put in water along here so it makes it easier for the dinosaurs to see each other. Um, but we're going to first of all actually put into no, I don't want that one I want that one there and then, then that way we can different um, dinosaurs within the park uh, so yes um, what I want to do is I want to put you there you there you there you there but each one because they're going to be carnivores just give them food and nourishment and everything in between so I just want to just get the paths done cool. I know the park doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing at the moment but we're going to be working on that in the next couple of episodes Alright, so let's get the automate bay. What does that mean? Okay. Um, carnivals. So we've got the. Let's do the um, Tabasaurus. And let's go that one. We'll do two of them so that we can um, I'm gonna modify the genome and randoms and random and do that. Cool. And the Utah Raptor. Let's Synthesize that. Cool. And there was the 
this guy. And got that one. That's new. I don't think I've got him. I'll do this guy here. Okay. It's like eggs. Okay, so we're going to put the Utahs, um, no, I should put the Tarot's in there. Okay, release. Asset collection request received. Tarvasaurus. Hello. Oh, you're you're a cute colour. Oh, oh, he's like looking up, going, "Who's that? Who's that?" Ooh, I'm having a sniff. Color, aren't you? You're like green. Red and black. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. So we've got one, two, three, and then we've got the fourth one down coming in. Almost the same, I think. Yeah. Cool. They're like T Rexes, but distant cousins, I think. Because they're from the Cretaceous. Oh, don't crash. Put the Utahs in here. This one takes us back to prehistoric Utah. 
I definitely wouldn't want to meet this raptor out on a camping trip, would you, huh? Because no, if it's distant relatives or anything to go by, the Utah raptor will make a meal of anything it can get its claws on. Nice. Okay, so the Gigaganta Raptor is a um, needs ground leaf as well, so let's give it some ground leaf. Asset has been transported. I was pretty relieved when I found out the Gigantoraptor wasn't actually some kind of gigantic Velociraptor. That would have been a recipe for disaster. Cool. What we have he here is actually more like an oversized Oviraptor. Cabinator is quite literally a hunter with a hump. So please, please, please keep it sweet, because I really don't want to have to flee from this Spanish predator. Yes. Right, so those are the four new dinosaurs, the Concabinator, the Utah Raptor, the Taraborosaurus, Taborosaurus, and the the what? The 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 something. Hang on, something raptor. Hang on, where are you? The Gigaganto Raptor. So, yeah, so we've got our Dana cells. So, now, what I want to do is comfort these beasts in their enclosure. a good dose of foliage and rocks. Cool. Having 
a drink, that's nice. Like a big giant emu or a big chicken. So he's having a drink. God look at that mouth. Um, um, um. Okay. So, Alright, so we've got the four new dinosaurs. Now, with this update, I was told, now this is really interesting, that, actually, what I want to do is I want to just get, no, hang on, uh, delete, I want to get rid of you, thank you, um, that there's some new scenery items like tables and chairs and stuff like that. Um, so, what we're going to do is add them. So what I want to do is I just want to add just make the it look really really nice. Yeah, and I know we need more shopping, but at the moment I'm just going to make the park look good. Um, and I know I've been, in the last couple of episodes, just focusing on getting exhibit after exhibit after exhibit. But I want the park to be big enough so that we can just start to make changes to the park and just make it all neat and tidy and stuff like that. Um, right, so the next thing I want to do before we wrap this episode up is actually put in some lights. Um, now, actually, before we um, do that, I believe there's actually a new... Yes, there is. There's a new water feature available, which is this one just here. But I want to put it... there um, and I believe that's a new one as well so I'll put you there um, and that one I believe is also a new one um, so I'll put I think I'll put that there um, And what I want to do is I want to just make that look good. Cool. Cool. Um, so I've got the T-Rex one there. Um, Oh, there's the rich, um, John Hammond statue, and I wanna. What I wanna do is I wanna put that just here. No, hang on. Is that the right? Wait, hang on. Let me just go here for a minute. Oh yeah, there, 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 there. Okay, good. That's the bronze statues. And then what I want to do here, um, because we've got the hatchery there and we've done a lot of work on this side of the, the fence with all these exhibits and the herbivores and stuff and um, this area, I thought in the next episode we would just make it all a little bit more greener and stuff like that. So like putting in more trees and stuff like that in the areas that are a little bit barren and have really have nothing in them, if that makes sense. So, yes. So the tour looks like it's going really good. 
Uh, so, yeah, so we need to put more drinks in, and yeah. But what we'll do for the time being is we're going to close the park. Um, because I just want to expand the, um, the park and let the guests enjoy themselves, really. So, thank you everyone for tuning in. I know this was like a really short 20 minute video, but in the next one we're going to do no more paddocks, but we're just going to tidy up the, the park and just make it all like really like sp special for the guests. So, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you later.